we had a couple of questions about sharing in Google Drive and sharing Google Docs in class. So I thought I'd whip up a quick video to talk about this and show you how to do it. Um, as you start moving into sort of 21st century practice, you'll find you have to work more and more in the cloud and you have to spend more and more time sharing documents with people. And this is a really good idea for a few reasons. Um, one of the best reasons, um, I mean, apart from the practical thing where you don't have to have um, endless zip drives and things that you're carrying around with you or send emails back and forth is that you can um, have effective version controls. So rather than saying, well, which version have you got? What are you looking at? Whatever, when you're collaborating with someone, you're able to share more effectively. The other thing is in some circumstances where you are wanting to um, upload documents and you uh, aren't on a service, say Perusal doesn't actually have the capacity for you to upload huge documents, what you can do is you can just upload the documents to Google Drive and then share the link. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm in my Google Drive now. Um, you can use the Google Drive of your own or you can use the one that um, uh, we created for you with your cqulaw.net identity, your Google education identity, which gives you some extra bells and whistles, but functions pretty much the same. So when you've got a series of documents here in a, in a folder, um, you just have to click on one of them and you go up to here, which is the share button. It says share the title of the thing and you click on it and it opens a window. And um, that will tell you what the sharing permissions are. Now often it's not very helpful and what you need to be able to do is click on the advanced ones and that will give you more detail. So this one, uh, as it's currently set up, says that anyone who has the link can edit it. I'm the owner and that's the link. Now I could change that edit link. So I can change it to sharing either just publicly so anyone can access it, anyone who has the link, anyone who's in the same domain name as me or just specific people. The other thing I can change is um, what you can do. So I can, the, the, the lowest level I can say you can just view it. The second level I can say you can add comments to it and at the highest level I can say you can edit it as well. So which of these should you use? Obviously sharing with specific people is the most secure because you get to absolutely control who has access. But this isn't usually necessary. Um, most of the things you're dealing with here um, and, you're, and you're dealing with in your study are not going to be that secure. And there can be problems with this sharing with specific people uh, option when you when people are logging in under the wrong accounts and they're not in there with the right Google and people have multiple um, Google identities and they're using the wrong ones and basically ends up being a big pain. So the one I always use is anyone with a link because only people who I want to have the link are going to have it anyway. You can't come across it by accident whereas if it's public on the web it's indexed on search engines, it's indexed on Google. People can find it. I mean I don't know what the chances of anyone finding it is but they can. So I always go for anyone with a link I save that and then um, there's the link to share there and it allows then that's the one that allows people to edit and, and you can copy it paste it and send it and you're done it's a very long link and I'm going to show you how to shorten that in a sec the same goes when you're creating new Google documents so you go up here Google Docs just created a new one new untitled document all right right up the top here there's a share button and currently it's locked and it's private, only I can see it. So I can click on that. Oh, I have to name it before I share it. So new document, very exciting title for it. And again, I come up with this option, share with others. Um, do I just want to share it with specific people? No, I want to go to the advanced options and that'll give me the full set of ideas. I'm not sure why Google doesn't have this as the first page, but we can't have everything we want, can we? Um, so I can change it so it's not private. I can change it to anyone with the link. I want anyone with the link. I don't want them to edit it. Maybe I just want them to be able to comment. And I save that. And there's my link. And I can um, copy that. And then I can email it. I can attach it to Facebook. I can attach it to Perusal. I can do anything that I want with it, really. The other thing I want to show you about is, because obviously that URL is a bit ugly and long, you can shorten it. Now there's lots of different services that'll let you shorten them and I'm just going to show you the Google one which is g double o dot g l google 
Um, you can use Bitly and you can use other ones as well. So you don't have to use Google, but I'll use it because it's simple. You, you put in your original link there. You say, I am not a robot. And you shorten the URL. And there we go, a much, much shorter URL um, than that long lengthy thing that we had and much, much less cumbersome to use. All right, done. So there you have it. Um, short and sweet, but hopefully that will give you an idea of how you can share documents um, and create those links that you can send out to others so they can view them, edit them, or do whatever you let them do with those things. Um.